let's go have a beer. Oh, yes. ¿Qué tal, Don Elias? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, Ida. Hey, Tim. Hola, Tim. <laughs> How was your day, Tim? My day has been really good. Just needed a little nap to get this done. Yeah. We're high up in the mountains, so my head was spinning. It's your first day at Tamana, and what, yes. what have you been doing? I uh, started off with um, uh, collecting some uh, cow shit. Yeah. I was, I was pretty good at that, I yeah. must say. Uh, then we started uh, making compost here. Dinner! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so good at that. <laughs> Turns out I'm not, I'm not that strong. Uh, but together we made it, Tim. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm. Two piles here. So it's um, it's grass, it's cow shit, it's uh, chips of wood, um, some of the old it's, uh, leaves. Yeah, leaves. This is a compost pile that didn't decompose properly. Yeah. yeah. So we have we have uh, just below thirty degrees here now. So we're hoping it will be much hotter tomorrow. Nice. To what else have you been doing today? Eating very good food. Yeah. Playing around yeah. with the kids and the dogs. <laughs> uh, drove Elise's very cool car over there. I like that a lot. Eight coffee cherries. Yes. And then, mmm, got. Mmm, really good. Yeah. I can't wait to taste the SL28. <laughs> Looking forward to that. And coffee flowers. Coffee flowers smells amazing, and when the wind came. Uh, five minutes ago, it was just smelling so good. Yeah. Such an experience. Uh, yeah, so that was our day. Yeah. I, uh, I'm gonna feel it in my arms tomorrow, but that's very good. Don't need to go to any gym to get exercise. No. You can just make compost. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go have a beer. Oh, yes. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. What are you making? I'm making uh, Tinka Tamala at Tinka Tamala. Tamala? Tamala, <laughs> SL28. Nice. Nice, very Bre nice. Breakfast coffee? Yes, second breakfast coffee. Nice. We have time for that here. Awesome. Take a ripe one. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that is so good. Different? Mm. So much more fruity. This is actually juicy. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this coffee cupped uh, 93 points. We picked. So good. We had like 80 grams so we could roast. I could eat this for Saturday candy. Yes. Really. <laughs> so we'll plant this because it doesn't have leaf rust and uh, uh, there's a lot of cherries. Nu står jeg her midt i en pratsgråning. Det er veldig lett sånn sett å plukke selve kaffen, men utfordringen er jo grunnlaget du står på. Akkurat nå er det så bratt at det holder på å falle, og det er ikke gøy å falle når du har bøtta full av kaffe. Så her er det bare å holde seg på å begynne. Veldig gøy er det. With that tempo, either we might have picked uh, a kilo in like during the next week. Okay, I will get a good <laughs> <I> promise. <laughs> so, how long have you been picking now, Ida? I have no idea. Do you know? About two hours. Two hours? Yeah. And uh, this is what this you is got. It. It's probably uh, around 10 kilos of cherry. 
which will maybe give you one and a half kilos of roasted coffee. Well, that's lucky. depressing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't given up yet. No. Pick, more picking. Normally it would go faster, but uh, there's not a lot of uh, cherries on these trees because it's the mitaka. Fun? It is very much fun. I love it. Would you like to do this 12 hours a day, every day? Being uh, paid $20 a day? No. No. But I really admire those who do. Yeah. And we are working on increasing the salaries, but uh, that's more complicated than it sounds. Mm. So, Ida. Hey. Okay. How many buckets mm -hmm. did you pick today? Uh, I think it was three altogether. So that's about uh, maybe three to four kilos <laughs> of roasted coffee. And we spent all day picking. But it's, it's going to be a very good coffee. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now we're floating the cherries. No, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> so everything that floats we are removing. A lot of dry cherries. Mm -hmm. A lot of waste. But these are lower grades, lower quality. Done with the floating. Come on, lift it up, lift. A little bit more. Perfect. So now we're gonna go and select cherries. Fun! Yes. Yes. Now it's time to pick out all the unripes. Overrides. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pick in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is the typical we picked this morning from around 9 o'clock until 12 o'clock. Three people. There were so many unripe, overripe, dried cherries on the tree. So these are kind of the what's good. And we're going to uh, pick out all the bad ones. All right, it's time to start processing the coffee and this bucket is all we got from three hours of picking. Three hours of picking, three people. Are you happy with the selection, Eva? Well, it's not much, but I'm very happy with the color. Yes. Okay, Eva, yeah, it's time to be deep up. Okay. Come on. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> what are you doing? Deep hopping. Oh, what Taking is that? the skin off. Taking the skin off the coffee cherries? Yes. Making it ready to ferment because we're producing washed coffees. Hola Camila. Hola. 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 <laughs> okay, Ida. Yeah. What's left in the bucket? Half a bucket of uh, parchment. Yeah, now we have uh, beans ready to be washed and dried. Fermented first. Fermented first. Yeah. Sorry, so these, since it's a small quantity, we have to ferment for maybe 24 hours. We'll give it a mid rinse tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. and then we're gonna wash it tomorrow night, I think. What's up, Ida? It's day three. What have you been doing? We've been uh, turning the compost. It was very warm, like, what's it, 70 degrees? 70 degrees. So, you could cook some food in there. Yeah. But we decided not to do that, but we turned it around, so we blended everything. Yeah. So what was on top is now in the middle. Yeah, we do this to make sure everything is hot. To kill pathogenic uh, bacteria, weed seeds, and also to get air into the pile, because it was turning anaerobic. You could smell ammonia. Yeah. Cool, how was yesterday? Yesterday was awesome. Picked cherries, uh, then we selected, oh, well, took out the uh, not so good ones, and then we de-pulped it. How do you say that? De-pulped, de yeah. The coffee, and uh, 
been fermenting over the night. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to have a look at that today. We should go right now and have a look. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Ida, we are yes. here with your coffee that you processed yesterday. Yeah, let me see. This is the SL28. Yeah, and we're mm -hmm. gonna check if the fermentation is finished. So how do we do that? I stab it with this. Yeah. Uh, if, uh, if the hole doesn't collapse when I take it out, it's uh, yeah, ready. It's ready to be washed. So, go ahead. That looks pretty good to me. Mm-hmm. So if the hole had been collapsing, we would have had to ferment it for a little longer. But this is ready to be washed. Yeah. So Ida, we're about to start washing the coffee. And this is how you do it. Just add water. And then you start to move the coffee around with your hands. Let me see, there's a lot of mucilage in the water. Mm -hmm. And we have to get that out. And then we fill it with clean water again. And then we do this four or five times until the water is completely clean up there. Mm. Hola Camila! Hola! Okay. <laughs> okay, done. Now you can put the water away. Yeah. And then you have to remove the floaters. Because the lighter beans that are floating. These ones? We want to get away. So what you do is mm -hmm. do exactly what you did with the cherries yesterday. Mm -hmm. Oh, this? Yeah, and don't get too deep. These are second grades that we don't want in our coffee because they don't taste that great. And since these trees are full of roya, uh, it's not the best quality this year. Good enough to win the Nora Grocer. <laughs> okay, now we're done. So now we're gonna drain the water and put some new water in so we get clean water. It. And then you put fresh water in and start to wash it with your hands again. And you need to kind of rub the beans in your hands mm. to get the mucilage off. What do you think, Ida? Having fun? I'm having a really good time. <laughs> Can you feel that the mucilage is letting yeah, go? It's a totally different uh, texture. And then you repeat until the water gets completely clean in the bucket. Mm. You see the water is getting cleaner, so we want to remove the floaters and the pulp that is left. So we want to remove all the pulp. We will pick out the rest when it's drying. It's a lot of water, but we are going to install a machine at Tamala that does this with much, much less water. So traditional washing uses about 50 to 80 liters per kilo of coffee. And the new machine will use about half a liter per kilo of coffee. So it's a dramatic difference. Mm. And this is so different, the texture, it's amazing. Now it's kind of rough. Mm. It's like stones now. Yeah, that's the right feeling. So that means we fermented it well. And you see the water is getting clean. Washing, and then we drain, and then we we'll take it to the dryers. Hopefully, there's some coffee left. <laughs> so, how many buckets did we pick yesterday, Ilan? Uh, altogether, four of this. This is typical. Four of the yellow ones that are standing right next to us. Mm -hmm. So, four buckets of cherries becomes half a bucket of this uh, of four of the coffee. Yeah, we picked out, I think, three of this. Yeah. At uh, least. Yeah. With the bad beans. Mm. And then. Uh, when we roast this, because we gotta dry it, when we roast this, it will probably be around two kilos of roasted coffee. A full day of work for two kilos of coffee. Three it's gonna people. be an amazing coffee though. Totally worth it. <laughs> so, show me all the floaters, Ida. Sorry. Yes, so this coffee will not be thrown away. It will be dried and sold for a very, very low price. And uh, normally it would probably go to instant coffee production in Colombia. They have a huge instant coffee factory here in Quindío. So that's what they use because it doesn't really matter what they put in. The coffee will taste more or less the same anyway. And then what's left in the bucket, you show us. 
me and my side woman coffee. What does it smell like? It smells like, I don't know, just very fresh and good. Yeah, sweet. Mm, almost like the flowers on the coffee tree. Mm. So now it's time to drain the water, Ida, and then we'll take it to the dryer. So now we gotta drain all the water. <laughs> so we're gonna dry it on this raised bed because we're gonna drink this coffee very soon. Mm -hmm. So we don't need it to stay fresh for a long time. If we want it to stay fresh for a long time, we'll dry it on the shade. So this is just a tunnel. Uh, with no shade net and good ventilation, so we'll dry it on this raised bed. So now you need to spread it out in a thin layer. Mm -hmm. Very thin layer because it's very wet. And then we'll have higher levels when it dries out. And then you need to remove all the pulp. No problem! And all the ugly parchment. And this will take uh, maybe a week, because we're drying in full sun. And then we have to turn it several times a day. Taking out the beans of the close ones, whoops. Yeah, take everything that's ugly. Yep, boing. <laughs> Why are you so tired? <laughs> We've been working, but I mean, the heat is what's taking me, really. I love the job, but uh, the heat. Uh. You want to see under my boots here? Wet up till here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, Ida, it's been a long day. Yeah. We're sweaty after putting on mulch all yeah. over the farm. What are you doing now? Now I'm putting all the beans together. And so why they is that? They so they dry evenly yes. to avoid condensed. Yes. Yes. Like in the middle or just like this? Just uh, all the coffee together. Doesn't ah, matter where it is. Here as well? Yes. Uh -huh. So if we don't do this, normally the moisture content will go up at night. But if we do this, the moisture content will stay more or less the same overnight. Having fun? I'm having lots of fun. <laughs> Tired? <laughs> yes. I need some more water. Definitely. Yes. Before we have some champagne with Elias. Really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Voila. Perfect. Good night. Ooh, peligroso. First time I really jumped this far. Far away. Salud. Gracias por su trabajo. A usted por representarnos allá. Representarnos allá en Noruega y en el mundo. What are we cupping it on? I'm cupping um, our coffees. We have Nacimento, we have Pinca Tamana Typica, Pinca Tamana SL28, and Nano Chala. Nice. Mm -hmm. Because we haven't cupped this uh, together, mm. the typicas. Mm. It's good, but it's definitely different from back home. Yeah, and it's Sunday morning, so there's not much to do on the farm because it's uh, the day of rest. We're gonna play tehu tonight, mm. so we might as well cup a little bit of coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
tomar el caldo uno <risa> Det är väl väldigt varmt. Okej, vad säger du då? Är det tungt? Vad är du gör idag? Jag är planting some seeds. Det är det typiska, right? Ja, det är en av de trädet. Det är trädet som tastade amazing. Mm. So we harvested the cherries. Now we're planting more trees so we can have some more because this one don't have roya leaf rust and it tastes amazing. Hay semillas. Da prueba ese. Oh, sorry. Okay, da. Yeah. We're leaving Tamana. Yes. <laughs> How has it been? Very, very good. <laughs> What's the highlights? Uh, uh, well, uh, I think it must be tasting the cherry on the tree up there. The special tree? <laughs> yeah, the special tree, but also just meeting everybody and, and just be here, really. It's been amazing. Yeah. They're so kind, like <laughs> seriously, so kind. And I just have all these great meals and Every time I get home and I'm so warm and sweaty and tired, they just hand me a freshly pressed juice every day. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't want to leave at all. And we'll be taking your coffee home. Ah. We can serve that uh, during Christmas, maybe. Ah, that would be amazing. Yes. Yes. Hello. Hello.